Hey everybody, Sean Bunton here. Hey, I'm out here in my boathouse today and uh, I came home today and I got a package on the front porch. It's that time of year. Got the dual mounted bass boat technology uh, mount for my both my Helix 10s, which I'm gonna put right here. I had the single mount uh, installed on my boat when I bought it from Pro's Choice Marine a couple of years ago up in Warsaw, uh, Missouri. And uh, those guys up there recommended the Bass Boat technology. I was really happy with the single mount and uh, because of, of how rigid and stable it is with my unit uh, running on it, I decided to go with the dual mount. So I am gonna go walk through the installation of the new dual mount Helix 10s, Humminbird Helix 10s is what I run. I plan on using one for mapping and the other one for down and side imaging. Uh, I went with the Helix 12 up front and I'll be installing the uh, Humminbird 360 Mega it transducer as soon as I can get it. But in the meantime, I thought I'd work on this. So what I wanna do is I wanna unbox the, the new dual mount and I wanna kinda show you the um, the console where I've removed the single mount that I just showed you. So uh, let's get with it. All right, good deal, good deal. So where I am is I'm trying to find my razor knife. Now, uh, as with any unboxing that you wanna do, you wanna be careful not to scratch the uh, internal components or damage what's inside. So I really don't know what to expect uh, what's inside the box. Um, I know the dual mount should be relatively heavy. The box is fairly heavy. And, well, not, not that heavy, but maybe, maybe between five and eight pounds. But I wanna make sure that there's nothing in there that I can damage. So I'm gonna kinda of be careful with this knife and just kind of break the seal. And that's all it took right there. So um, just, just for um, those of you who may be interested, I ordered this probably less than a week ago. So from, you know, they custom build them because not uh, everyone runs the same mounts and some people run different size mounts um, on the front of their boat. So they're custom built, but it, I guess it probably took them about uh, three days to, to custom fab mine um, and maybe three days to, to get it shipped to me. So it arrived today, FedEx. So anyway, let's throw the, the paper out over here. Oh man, look at this thing, cool, cool. I'm digging it already. So let's throw all this junk. You know what, I got a garbage can over here. That's why I put one out here in my shop. To get these things. Go ahead and put that in the garbage. Um, really important thing is to uh, have coffee while you get this going. Mm, that's good. That's good stuff. So uh, anyway, not, uh, the cool thing I like about the Bass Boat technology, cool decal. Check it out. Check it out. We'll put it on the boat or the truck or somewhere. But one thing I really like about this particular mount is that it comes with all the hardware. It's fully assembled. I am hoping, and I think it's the case that this will put, will match up almost identical to the single mount. May have to drill a new hole. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out in a few minutes. But essentially, uh, the thing comes already assembled. So let's let's go ahead and pull it out of the box and show it to you. So um, here it is. Uh, really nice, they, they give you the stainless, uh, it's not stainless, but they give you the hardware to mount your gimbals. They don't come with the gimbals from your original manufactured um, unit. So Humminbird, for instance, I have to have the gimbal mounts for this, but they did supply me the, um, the locking nuts and the bolts uh, for the mount. Really nice, got some bushings here. In case you uh, get in some rough water, you don't want your, your unit coming back and hitting something hard. So it's got a nice rubber grommet right here. Man, just, just feeling this thing, the, the supports, I can tell the way they did this uh, versus the single mount was they really beefed up 
the support. So if you got, you know, a couple of big units hanging off to the side, you really want that real rigid uh, design um, to keep any vibration out of your unit. So it looks like, now let me, let's look at it. Bear with me just a second. Let me get, let me get the original. So here, here's my single mount. There's my single mount right here. I just want to match up the back of it because if that matches pretty closely and it does, matter of fact, it's, uh, exactly almost exactly the same it's a little may have to re-drill the holes at the bottom but not a real big deal for the most part the top three bolted holes that will bolt through the fiberglass on my console are pretty much lining up looks like i may have to drill re-drill uh these holes they are the the new the new back plate is slightly shorter in width than the single mount was so something to, something to be con um, considered but not a big deal okay so let me just set this up here let me put the box underneath the boat down here excuse the i know y'all can see the shop in here um it's um it's kind of messy so please please uh, ignore all that but comes with all the hardware uh, got the button tucks too, so um, the little caps go over the the bolted connections, kind of give you that real nice button tucked look, like you used to see on the old '70s padded vans. Used to do van conversion when I was a kid with my parents. But uh, anyway, real real nice and concealed, real nice fine uh, installation, fine looking. You know, really really nice looking. Um, uh, the way they do the hardware so there's no exposed hardware components you know uh, you got these little caps and I'll show you one up close you know something like this and that thing is uh, you know just uh, it clips in over the bolt or the the nut and the screw so uh, anyway should have all the components I need to mount this directly to my console. And the cool thing about this is it, it ought to go in pretty quick. This, this shouldn't be a long, it's going to take me longer to film this and show you guys how to do it than it's probably going to take me to do it. So, all right, let's, um, let's move on. Let's move back to the driver's seat and size the new dual mounted bass boat technologies, very custom very rigid dual console mount and let's go check it out at the at the console in the driver's seat okay okay i'm sitting in the driver's seat of my 2018 nitro z20 i'm about to size up the new bass boat technologies dual mount for my console in my z8 i had a single mount for a helix 10 uh, when I bought the boat from the folks at uh, Pro's Choice Marine in Warsaw, um, Missouri, they're the ones that recommended Bass Boat Technologies to begin with. I was so happy and pleased with how rigid and stiff and sturdy that the uh, single mount was that I decided to purchase the dual mount. So my plan is to install two Helix 10, Humminbird Helix 10 Gen 2 units uh, at my console and um, I want to show you uh, I've already taken the single mount out uh, in preparation for receiving this so I uh, want to turn turn the camera around here and show you what I'm what I'm dealing with here so all right so you can see right now that the the Nitro Z20 is pretty standard to come with a low rance a pretty a pretty cheap uh, low rants because most of most of us guys that are bass fishing we, we have very specific taste when it comes to our brand of graphs whether it be garmin or ray marine or low rants or in my case uh, i've always been a big hummingbird uh, supporter and uh, re really like for the ease of usage uh, but but in any event you can see that the uh, hole was cut for the original unit but you can see that the bass boat technologies the back plate for them on the original single mount is right here there were one two three four five 
bolts and nuts that would secure the mount to the fiberglass console. So the holes on the new mount look like they line up pretty close. So what I'm going to do is try to put in the uh, top three because I think they line up pretty well. And I may have to touch up and drill a couple of new holes in the bottom, but um, not a real big deal. Not really worried about that. I'm more worried about the functionality of the, uh, the mount and how rigid it is and keeping my graphs nice and secure when I'm running out on the lake in a, in a real choppy situation. So here's the, here's the mount. I've laid it out on the floor again. Again, Bass Boat Technologies builds these, uh, custom builds them to your specification based on your graphs. And you can have a different graph on each side, but they custom fabricate them and build them to your spec. It takes about three days and maybe about three or four days for them to get it shipped, depending on where you are. I'm in Alabama, they're in Georgia, so I got it pretty quick. So one cool thing about the new mount is that the uh, the holes are already pre-made for you know your cables to go through into your power source, um, into your breaker, or or you know the way, however you want to route it back through here. So let me go ahead and stick these existing cables through their respective holes in the graph. I'll go ahead and try to pull those through. That'll work like that. Okay, and let's pull the other one through. It's kind of heavy trying to do this with myself. I still have to put the power. Uh, I got the steering wheel tilted up. Let's see if I can do this without. Let's see, I may have to pull. Well, let's see. Uh, hang on. Steering wheel down so I can work with this a little bit better. Okay, now one thing. Uh, okay, I see one one problem to start off with. Not a real big issue, but the original hole with the small Laranche unit um, was okay for the single mount because the holes on the Bass Boat Technologies mount actually was uh, right in front of that hole. So because these two holes are further spaced apart, they exceed the width of the original Laurent. So looks like I might have to get either my, my jig saw or my uh, oscillating saw and notch the, uh, and notch the uh, holes out just a little bit more. So let me, let me think about how that's gonna go. I believe, looks like the holes, the top three holes are gonna line up perfectly. So uh, not a real big hurdle to get over. So let's, um, I'm gonna stop right here and get the necessary tools and pieces I need to um, make some uh, <clears throat> additional uh, provisions for my cabling. So I'm gonna have to expand on the existing hole a little bit. All right, so you can see where the original hole for the uh, the square hole was for the original Lowrance in this Nitro Z20. Um, the new dual mounted bracket from Bass Pro Boat Technologies, the pass-through for the cables, the power cables, transducer and networking cables to the units, actually, uh, I had to notch this out a little bit. So let's see how that sizes up with the with the uh, with the bracket now. Really notched it out nicely. I've already gone ahead and installed the top three screws and I've backed them up pretty good. They're not as tight as I want them to be, but I got them pretty tight for now. Um, I actually removed, and it probably says this in the instructions, but, but like um, most of you, I don't follow the instructions a whole lot um, sometimes with uh, installs like this, but two little wing nuts keep this brace on. Uh, at the top and I found out that it's a whole lot easier to set the screws and get in there So you can tighten them if you go ahead and remove that it took minimal effort To do that, but so far. This is what what I've got I've got the holes on both sides Routed out got my cables coming through there now. All I have to do is drill that hole drill that hole 
and secure it, fasten it up real nice and tightly with my screwdriver and my ratchet. And then I'm gonna mount the, the hummingbirds on here. So getting close, minimal effort. Uh, it's taken me about maybe 30 minutes to get to this point and that's including climbing in and out of the boat. I'm by myself. So I have to climb in and out of the boat to get um, my tools, uh, my shop vac. I've been vacuuming up the uh, fiberglass uh, particulate as I go along. So anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and drill these down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to um, fasten those two bolts at the bottom and we'll come back after that, okay? Mass chaos on the deck of the Z20. Not too bad. I'm just messy when I work. All right, so I did a little bit of work while we've been away, but you can see I got the bottom bolts in and uh, got the little button snapped on. Nice clean look. Got my cables running through each side. So this one will be my map. And so all I want here is the uh, power and the network cable. Here I've got the transducer, the network cable, and the power cable all running through that hole. Okay? So now I'm going to install the gimbal for each of the two Humminbird Helix 10s. I'll be back shortly. All right, so I uh, installed the factory or uh, original manufactured uh, gimbals for the Helix 10, the Humminbird Helix 10s. So you can see I've got them, got them here. I use the supplied hardware from Bass Boat Technologies. Got the hex heads on top, lock and washer on the bottom. Uh, might be worth noting that the hardware was a little bigger diameter than the original hole in the, in the Humminbird gimbal. Not a big deal, I drilled it out pretty easily. Um, got both gimbals mounted now. I'm about to uh, secure the other uh, connector to the Humminbird on this side. I had to take it off to route the cables through the hole. So looking good. Almost got uh, the, the dual console bracket from Bass Boat Technologies installed on my Nitro Z20. All right. I just got the uh, gimbals mounted, tightened up, and both Humminbird helixes uh, mounted on the gimbal. I've got the cables routed through. I still have to hook up the power to one of them. Everything is networked and connected up. I'm really, really pleased with the installation process. I uh, had a couple little, little snags. I uh, had to re-drill the bottom holes, had to drill the Humminbird gimbal mounts out just a little bit for the supplied hardware from Bass Boat Technologies. But cool thing is, is that uh, they supply all that. I didn't have to go into the toolbox digging around or run into Lowe's or to the hardware store and get the uh, the nuts and bolts I needed to connect it. So I, th I think it come out really good. Let me kind of stand back, kind of show you some, some close-ups here. Of the back kind of get a wide angle here two hummingbird tens on my nitro z20 2018 nitro z20 i was worried about the spacing at first but bass boat technologies even put the bolts in the correct uh, slots for the hummingbird gimbal so they've done this a few times y'all so really rigid mount i'm looking forward to getting it on the water and trying it out, really excited about this. 
uh, nice to run mapping on one and side imaging down imaging on the other so it uh, gives me lots of options there so all right got the install complete i guess it probably took me about an hour to do it uh two helix 10 gen 2 units at the console of my nitro z20 2018 nitro z20 got the uh bass boat technologies dual mount custom built for my two helix tens at the console at the helm really nice real clean installation some close-ups of underneath all the hardware was provided by bass boat technologies the only thing I really ran into from moving to the from the uh, single graph bass boat technology rack was that the two bottom holes on the back plate didn't exactly line up with the dual mount, but it wasn't that big a deal. I just you know made two new holes through the uh, through the fiberglass and. Um, not that big a deal probably took me about an hour you know and that was going inside making uh, a couple two three cups of coffee so anyway sean bunton um out here in my in my boathouse here in mobile alabama looking forward to lake mitchell i fished the uh the bfl series in particular the the bass fishing league and looking forward to putting these graphs to to work i'm gonna run strictly mapping on one and side imaging combination of side down traditional sonar you know on the other one so go out there and check out bass boat technologies really nice mount well thought out well planned very rigid super strong uh installation is really quick so uh, anyway go out there and check them out uh, and uh, I'll see you guys on the water.